this brand new Mercedes Vito van is about to be converted into a mobile cafe and it'll have lots of Victron kit inside. We've got a Victron Energy Quattro, uh, 5 kVA, 100 amp hour book boost, five 200 amp hour lithium batteries in parallel in each vehicle, high current bus bars, smart shunt, smart battery protect, and the Serbo GX alongside the Touch 50. So basically we get the van um, from factory as just an, a standard Mercedes Vito um, and what we do from the moment it comes into the workshop we strip out anything that we don't need such as the spare wheel or the, the carriers for various bits of equipment that come with the vehicle um, and then prep the vehicle to receive all of our conversion. One of those first jobs is to remove the driver's seat and the housing for the starter battery. The Vito has a 185 amp Euro alternator and to ensure warranty of the van, power is taken from the starter battery terminals rather than from the alternator or from the engine wiring. The walls of the van at the moment are the bare steel body so Joe is applying high strength glue both to the insulation sheeting and the van roof to bond the two together. The inside of the van will be seen by prospective shoppers, so it needs to look neat, professional and clean. DAC Motor Group in the city of Lincoln, England, have been in the motor trade for over a decade and have created a kit of parts to make these vans. With CNC cut woodwork and pre-wired cabling, it makes the install a lot faster. We've been in our current site now for uh, coming up to two years. Um, we are basically a, uh, an independent uh, service centre, um, but also we have a, uh, a rental and spot hire fleet and a, uh, a car store, a Valentin Bay, MOTs, and now we also have the, uh, the new conversions workshop as well, um, which has been going for a um, little over a year now. The Victron stuff is, compared to the other inverters that we've used on the market, they're just next level there's really no comparison um, in my eyes they're much stronger uh, build quality um, just the casing alone um, how easy they are to actually install and it's just so straightforward Victron and the, and the customer support as well that goes with it is just um, yeah brilliant. The front steel bulkhead is covered in laminated ply and the back of some internal shelving houses another bulkhead, ready for a certain piece of kit. A 5 kVA Quattro inverter charger is used to power all the appliances on board. So you've got the, uh, the coffee machine uh, in the back of the van, um, which is a quite a high power draw system. Uh, that's around 2.5 to 2.8 kilowatts. You've got a pie oven in the back, running around 700 to 800 watts. A hot water tap, which is variable, so that can go from anything from about 500 watts up to 3.5 kilowatts. Um, and you've got a refrigerator in one of the sides as well, um, which has got about a 300 watt draw. Um, so yeah, the, the lithium really does play a big role in letting them serve for the whole day. Mid-morning there was a beeping horn outside the garage and that only means one thing. A Cafe to You van had arrived ready to serve hot and cold food as well as fresh coffee to the hungry workforce. This older van however uses a generator to provide its power. The pros and cons against generator and battery, of course, you're going to have uh, noise and pollution side of things. So particularly for me, if I was approaching a, a coffee or a food van, yes, with most events, you're used to the, the generator running in the background. You can sort of hear it. But when it's in close proximity, say like a van, to me, that kind of goes, OK, so you've got exhaust fumes. Yes, they're coming out the side of the van, but they are very close to food and drink, and it's not really ideal.
when the franchise partner gets a van, they have a set round in a city or a town or a village, mainly business estates or industrial parks, and they just go around door to door selling their coffee, hot food, uh, sandwiches and stuff like that um, on a daily basis. So throughout the day, um, they're constantly using this power. A small water tank has been installed to supply the onboard hot and cold tap for hygiene and of course the coffee machine via an industrial filter. On the outside of the van, Steve and Joe have installed a power inlet socket that will be fed to the Quattro via an RCD. During the day uh, the batteries are charged by the book boost 100 amp DC to DC converter, um, that just helps give the battery a little bit of a top up in between their round. Um, when they get home, they plug it into their 16 amp outlet and put it into charge only mode. And that keeps the batteries topped up overnight and gives them full charge ready for the morning. They've installed a Serbo GX to monitor the equipment as well as a GX Touch 50 in the back serving area. This is so the franchisee can see the battery state of charge of the 12.8 kilowatt hours of lithium batteries as well as in the future, how much water is left in the tank. So far they've been uh, blown away really with, with uh, how we've put these vans together and uh, the, the level of equipment that we've been using. Um, as we go from van to van, if new technology from Victron comes out, we try and use it where we can. Um, the, the, the great thing about Victron, which it's really impressed me and helped me out no end in, in a few situations now, is the VRM and the Bluetooth connectivity. It's just so easy to be able to diagnose a fault um, remotely because some of these vans go to Scotland, London and rather than me driving out I can actually just log on to the VRM portal and look at the historic data and figure out what's going on and even reprogram it remotely which is fantastic. Now that the system has been tested, it's time for it to receive a graphics wrap to ensure potential customers can see that a Cafe to You van is on its way.